Hello everyone and welcome to Technical Voice. So in the last video we have seen that we deployed our Docker container into Azure Container Registry. So in this video uh, we will deploy this uh, image which is on the Azure Kubernetes Registry. Azure Container Registry we will deploy on the Azure Kubernetes service. So I have uh, created one cluster and uh, this is just uh, the initial state i have created the container uh, the kubernetes cluster and uh, now we will deploy our image into this cluster so as if you have seen my first video i will share my all the previous video in the description it what it does it, it actually sends data to the azure event hub okay so currently it's not sending any data because there is no uh, application or board is running okay so let's deploy our uh, this image into the kubernetes service okay so in order to do that you need a yaml file okay so so this is a yaml file so you can uh, copy as it is uh, so this yaml file may differ uh, from from application to application so this is the name of the port and this is the container that we need to pull uh, from the azure kubernetes uh, azure container registry so please make sure that your cluster must have permission to uh, get the image from the Azure uh, Azure Container Registry, otherwise it will show error. So, in order to give the permission, you can use a service principal ID, or while creating the cluster, you can define that you need to pull images from the Container Registry. Okay. So, I will add this in the description okay just for your uh, reference <clears throat> you uh, if you have a web application you need to uh, give the port and different configurations so you can see from the google uh, but this is a simple application it's a console application that we are gonna deploy in the cluster okay so let's open the powershell so so in order to deploy you must have the cube ctl cli installed on your machine okay so it is installed on my machine you can install very simply just go to the google and then uh, search for it okay so first of all we need to uh, get credential of our uh, azure portal and then link the context of the kubernetes uh, with our commands so let's go to az login so i am already logged in just need to click on it so it will get this okay now the next thing is you need to get the credential okay so get credential and your resource group your uh, cluster name so my name cluster name is cube test cube test okay so as you said it just merge the context with the commands okay and next thing is you just need to So what's the name of our yaml file is aksdatagen.yaml okay so before running this let me show you get deployment so if you have knowledge about the kubernetes you know the deployment and let's see any Port. So there is no port and is not deployed. So let's 
then I will just command. Oh, sorry. This should be in case data again. So, yeah. So, if we get a deployment, our one port is running. Okay, you can see it. So it just pull the image from Azure Kubernetes, Azure Container Registry, then running as a port. Okay, now it's sending data to our Event Hub. So if you want to scale it, currently only one port is running. If you want to scale it, you just need to run this command. So deployment name is testing. So we want to run reports. So this is as easy as it is. Very easy. Now if you can see the ports, there are three ports running. Okay. And let me confirm that our event hub is getting data. So you can see it just start getting data okay so after just one minute it, it this chart is updated after one and two minute so after one and two minute it will just go here very highly so this is how you will uh, install the uh, image into the azure Kubernetes service and uh, if you want to delete the deployment you just need to write kubectl delete deployment and your deployment name and uh, uh, this is how you can deploy your image into the Kubernetes cluster so please watch my all three videos in the first video we have created a docker image and uh, in the second video we deploy our image to the azure container registry and in the last video uh, we see how to deploy our container image into the kubernetes service okay thank you very much and take care